in go recording Woo-hoo! all right everyone. happy monday to you it is a red takeover Woo-hoo! we are so excited to be here are you excited to be here yes okay yes. Woo! fantastic so let's get this game started and you're going to understand this in a minute so here is what we are doing i have the um ultimate um chance to introduce all of my red friends so i will start i'm the fabulous maggie fortman i am so excited to be a red jacket and we are taking over tonight so in order of status i guess is how i'm going to do this is honorable mention of kelly strasser who is a star team builder and then Next on the roster is Sandy Sticklin, star team builder. And Sandy is going to tell us what her favorite thing about being a red is. Go, Sandy. Okay. My, uh, the, my, my favorite part, I mean, everybody pretty much knows my favorite part of being a red is my jacket fills me with pride and confidence. Um, and it reflects my accomplishments and my path forward. Excellent. I love it. So next on the roster is the fabulous Brittany Bartz, B-Rad, and B-Rad is an elite team leader. All right. So Brittany, tell us what your favorite thing about being on this red team is. Everybody, yes. My favorite thing is, because when it comes to Mary Kay events, I don't have to worry about what I need to wear. It's quite, it's a very, very easy staple piece in my wardrobe, but also the friends and family I get to bring along with me is a bonus as well. Fantastic. We're so excited. And leading the way in scoring is our very own Dory Anderson, who is an elite team leader. And Dory, tell us what your favorite thing is about being a red jacket. I love the fact that we get to hang around with our director friends and family and make sure that everything that they are doing soaks into us. I love it. Thanks, Dory. So this is your starting lineup for the evening. Is anyone seeing a theme here? It's game time, y'all. So let's get this party started. And Dory Anderson is going to start with some recognition. Go, Dory. Okay. So Pop Achievers, people, raise your hands. Pop Achievers. Pop Achievers, raise your hands. Raise yourself and do a little woohoo. We want to hear you tonight. Yeah, we want noise. We want red. Pom poms if you got them. <laughs> okay. You're talking about for this month, for the month of March, is probably what you want to let people know. Is yeah, that what you mean this month? month? Okay, yes. For the month of March, where we are right now, if you are, because you are a Pop Achiever, we want to hear from you. Okay. Woohoo. Woohoo. All right. All right, then you sold 30 items in 15 days. Raise your hand and make a noise. Woo! Woo! There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we are introducing our star consultants: Sapphire, Kim Brennan, Rhonda Deaver, Maggie Woo! Portman, Kathy Woo! Leslie, Katie Sikorsky, Steph G, April Austin. Woo! Woo! Okay. Then we have Ruby, Sandy Sticklin, Whitney Schleilein, Cece Schuber, Woo! Emerald Kirsten Collins, Woo! Star Dory Anderson, Lisa Curry Mack. That's my job. Fantastic. Nice job, Dory. Okay. So we have um, like a teeny extra time right here. So we're going to take two people who want to share something really fun that happened in their business last week. So who wants to go? Chris, Kirsten. So um, I guess we'll call it last week, but on um, Saturday at career conference, I messaged a woman who was on my mind and she's a woman I worked with. And I just said, Hey, I'd love to get, get you in for a pampering session. I know you're working so hard with your husband who has dementia. She said, Oh my gosh, I was thinking about you this morning. I have Thursday mornings, Tuesday mornings and Sunday mornings. And I said, tomorrow, Sunday, you want to come over? And she did. And it was a $250 sale and she felt wonderful. Wonderful. She's so excited. Oh, 
Oh, nice Very job, true. Kirsten. That's it. Making people feel good. That is what this is about. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, one more. Who else wants to go? It wasn't last week, but it was right before my cruise. And because we had that Monday night and I had two guests at there, we scheduled an appointment right before I took off. And it was so much fun. It was her and her mom. And they all bought the systems and everything, but they've been using them and their skin feels wonderful and they look wonderful. So that was a lot of fun to kick off my vacation. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. nice job, Rhonda. Congratulations. Okay, so now this is, I'm gonna turn this over to the uh, to BRAD, who is going to help moderate our sharing of career conference. So all of our consultants went to career conference this past weekend. We had a blast, we had camaraderie, we had um, an immersion of Mary Kay culture, and it was fantastic. And so everyone who went has been warned that they're gonna to get to share, but y'all, literally, you got a minute, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. so go for it. If, if you are not aware of every, it, during every basketball game, it's not an umpire, it's a referee. And I am that person who has a stopwatch up. So don't make me cut you off. I have the power <laughs> of Zoom, everybody. And I've got a list of names. Unless it's really, really good, I may let you go like a hair longer, but most likely not. So first <laughs> up, everybody. All right, I'm pulling you out of the locker room. Rhonda Deaver, you're the lucky first one. Please share with us your thoughts on career conference or a special nugget you took away. I took away two amazing nuggets that have stuck with me for the last 48 hours. And the first one was personal. And that was from Grace Lemke, Be Authentically You. Um, so that one has been huge. And be what? Be what? Be authentically you so be truly who you are not who you think everyone thinks you should be and if you're strong keep going strong and then the second thing was mary Kay is a business and you need to treat it as a business sometimes when you get into this you just think of all the fun and the vacations and everything that you forget that part of being in a business is you have to do the work and so in our layman's terms think of it as a job put it on your calendar and treat it as a job and learn the skills that you do at all of your other jobs. And Mary Kay does so much for you in the business world. You guys have, it's unbelievable what they do for you. Life is champion, one minute and one second, sister. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Rhonda. That was fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. So moving on, can I please have Steph G share her thoughts next? Okay, so I've got two. Um, I'll save the funny one for last, but I loved all the speakers. I connected with Grace Lemke, uh, Pam Ross for her last career conference. Uh, she is hilarious. <laughs> and then learning also from uh, Julie Neal Murphy. Loved all her tips and tricks. Um, Grace, I loved it. Uh, she had us write down like three words that uh, kind of like made us nervous, scared, or whatever. She put after that, say, I love it. <laughs> then the funniest thing, and I love this from Pam, I had to keep, write this down because she's from Texas and I've heard this numerous times from people from Texas. You can't fix stupid or crazy. <laughs> oh, <amen. laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Pam was, Pam was awesome. Thank you for sharing that stuff under time as well. And for those of you who are um, not, who were not able to be with us at career conference, the reds, we are, we go to some um, separate classes. So sales directors go to separate classes and then general beauty consultants all have separate classes. And then when we're together as a full group, we hear from the top three, top four sales directors and national sales directors, which is, and they have a, a cool spin on everything that they share. So thank you, Steph, for calling out those individuals' names as well, because that's important. A lot of us have been blessed to hear some of these people speak multiple times. So thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Jenny Kiesler, you're up, <laughs> sister. All righty. I just, I absolutely love seeing people I haven't seen in a while, rebuilding and rekindling friendships. And Grace Lemke, her little tidbits about who do you want to be? What do you want for your life? 
and to give your fear a place to play. And just being in everyone's presence and re-motivated and re-energized, it was just amazing. I can't wait for seminar. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, Jenny. Perfect. All right, April Austin, you're up, sister. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. So it was hard to just pick two as there was just so much as my first career conference. Um, one of the things that I loved, uh, I couldn't find my specific notes on it, but one of them was to be a queen and to create my own reality and take responsibility for what happens and not to place blame on others. And then Grace Lumpy also said to search for clarity and there's very little that we have control over. And most people know I'm kind of a control freak. So that resonated and I need to just let go of things I can't control. Great. Thank you, April. Dawn, are you ready to share next? Unmute your several devices. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, this stuck out to me that Supanko said, working hard for something you hate is stress. Working hard for something you love is passion. Say it um, again for the people up in the nosebleeds, please. <laughs> Working hard for something you hate is stress. Working hard from something you love is passion. I love that. Um, another thing that I'm going to point out um, when I talk to people about their starter kit is that Mary Kay has 2,000 employees that come with the starter kit. It has a marketing department, lawyers, products, research, everybody who's going into all of that. Um, There's several of us on here who own other businesses. Mary Kay makes it really simple for us. And I love that. I also love um, the idea that when uh, Mary Gass said, if you call them and they haven't tried the sample yet, say, oh, that's no problem. I just wanted to tell you more about what Chroma Fusion eyeshadow really is and explain it and make it more interesting than just every other eye sam shadow sample they think. That's a great point. I wasn't in that session. Thanks for that one, John. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, next up, Jill, are you able to share? I am, sorry about that. So I, I, it was so nice to go, to get back in, in with all of our, the pink bubble. That was so exciting to be finally in person. Um, my, I, my takeaway was with, with from Julie um, Murphy. She um, had said, was talking about limiting beliefs and um, uh, giving yourself permission to win. Um, that that just really kind of that really struck me because I know that I've got some and I I need to let myself just do it. Let me. Um, the other thing is to pro, is promoting customer all the customer apps. That's not something I've really been doing, but this week I'm making a push to um, let my customers know about these awesome apps. They, they we have them. They're wonderful, and they should, we should be having them use them. Totally agree, Jill. I messaged everybody the Mary Kay um, app so they can start shopping like Amazon. Because I know I've been a little wacky on Amazon, so why can't my customers be a little wacky on my website? <laughs> yes, and also kudos to Jill for having the best husband of the weekend. He had to come save her in the parking garage and replace her tire on her Suburban because it lost air. So love him. <laughs> that came and helped, helped her when we were in session. All <laughs> pumps for Dave. <laughs> Tell him we did that. <laughs> I will do that. I <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, next up is our special attendee to the career conference VIP luncheon. Kirsten, you're up. Awesome. Thanks. Um, so the the luncheon was just tremendous. Um, it wasn't anything I was expecting, and it was hard to find. It was like, where is it this way and this way? And as I got to the lunch and I'm walking, getting to the back of the line, you know, following and seeing all these people, everyone in their director jackets, NSD jackets, reds. And then here and there are people like me, not jacketed. And I'm like, whoa, am I in the right place? And um, director 
um, Tina Johnson from Watertown said, oh, hi, and like grabbed me right into line with her. She's like, congratulations, come here. And we got together and just started talking. And as we walked in the door, she said to me, well, I'm a new, I'm a school board member in my, um, in, where I live. And I turned to her and I said, oh, I work in schools. I'm a director of technology. And she was like, oh my gosh. And we immediately <laughs> kind of came together and she brought me to the table. She's like, let's find a place. And we sat down and spent the whole luncheon learning about each other's families, helping this woman who came late and getting her all settled and just had a wonderful, wonderful dinner. And I, at the end, seriously, we cried. Um, and at the end of this lunch, and I said, I was supposed to meet you. This was meant to be. And she was the most encouraging, wonderful woman. And um, just hearing about her story and where she's been was really inspiring. Um, so that's one thing. Am I cut off yet? You're, you, you had something special. You get extra time. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Um, but I am, um, my strengths finders tells me I'm very strategic. And so what really resonated with me are those like strategy pieces. And what I know from Mary Kay in the past is numbers work, work the numbers, do the work. And so I heard that over and again, and Heidi Gelser told us, okay, what's, you need faces, you need 30 faces. Okay, look at your market, book confident women, but it's a numbers game. 300 a week cultivates confidence. What do you need to get your star backtrack plan and just get those faces in? And so I took that and actually um, I'm having an open house on Thursday for people at work. It's like, okay, I haven't been able to max out double credit yet. Okay, where's the numbers? Got to get to see those faces. So how many days do we have left? Three? Three? Yep. We got three days. We can do the numbers. Faces take you places, baby. Love it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so that was the strategy pieces that I really go, okay, I can do that. I'm just very concrete and strategic. So it was just super, super awesome. So many things. I seriously have 21 pages of notes <laughs> in this book. I love it. You got to go. That's all I got to say. You got to go. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's our university. It's our, it's our professional development. It, it makes you go places. Awesome. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. I think before we skip over to C's, uh, Maggie Sherwin, birthday girl, are you available? C, senor. Rita. <laughs> <laughs> what you well, got, sister? Um, before I jump into my thing, just real quick, I also met Tina about a month, month and a half ago, but she was staying at the hotel I work at for her school board related stuff. And I saw her, um, her Mary Kay suitcase or bag, whatever she had. I was like, that looks familiar. So we were chatting for a moment and she, you know, introduced herself and I, you know, introduced myself and told her what unit I was from. She's like, oh yeah. I know them. Oh, that's so cool. Blah, blah, blah. She was just waiting to get picked up. So we didn't chat long, but I was like, wait a bit. I recognize that name as soon as Kirsten said it. So that's cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, okay. So my little nugget uh, is a, is from Grace Lemke. Uh, she spoke on Friday afternoon ahead of general session. And I kind of posted about it earlier to get a little bit background or if you didn't see it. Um, I love when she talks, I really do. And um, she was talking about dreaming and how don't be fooled because as women, yes, we've come a long ways and people in general really, but there are still women out there who grow up in small towns or rural areas, wherever that just don't see opportunities out there for themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to dream. They don't know how to dream big. Um, and, or you have people who like, you know, as a kid, you're like, oh, someone asked you, oh, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? And you come up with whatever answer. And sometimes you get that like, oh, that's nice. Like response, like, is that really realistic? Oh, come on now. Um, and so like, you shouldn't do that to people. You shouldn't limit them. You shouldn't rain on their dreams. Um, 
sometimes it's it comes from a place of thinking that you're doing good or you're being helpful like oh I don't want you to be disappointed like I don't want you to be upset when that doesn't happen but that doesn't serve anyone as (laughs) she put it we aren't little kids anymore we're grown women and no one has ever died from disappointment so go after what you want say what you want do what you want like what are you doing to fulfill that And if you don't dream for yourself, you will get pulled into someone else's dream for themselves. And then you're just a player in it. So have fun. Good luck. Go do what you want to do because you deserve to meet the woman that you like are meant to be. And I couldn't believe that was the first time she has spoken at a company event. She needs to do it. more. Yes. Love that. Thank you, Maggie. And for those of you who are Facebook friends with her, uh, wish her happy birthday and check out her Facebook post that she um, posted about Grace. That was really sweet. And Grace commented that she appreciated your words, Maggie. So thanks for being such a great example of representing the Future Courage Nation on good old Facebook. (laughs) Thanks, Brett. Yes. (laughs) So everybody, I believe I called on you. The Reds, we are going to go last, but Cece, we want to hear from you. What was happening in the private, the sales director classes? Fill us in. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my personal experience and less about a nugget because I'll share a couple nuggets at the end. Um, But one little aha, you guys, is so we haven't been at career conference since March of 2019. Um, wow. (laughs) I was not even in DIQ yet. And looking back, sat in with Brittany, who was having a struggle (laughs) there, a challenge, and uh, with Brittany and Nan in the front row um, at Deb Bailey's class, who returned to Career Conference as the number one sales director, number two nationwide. Holy guacamole. And she's my friend. We just had a back and forth. She gave me her address for a thank you note. And so It was just really cool to think like that woman was there cheering me on as a red jacket. And now we've come so far as this rise unit and built and she's come further in her unit and built and uh, just sitting there hearing from her. And then um, honestly, you guys, I got to hear Auntie Marie, our super senior sales director, Marie Farr, speak twice in the director class. And wow, that was a moment. Me sitting front row, listening to her speak director to director. She's known me since I'm two. Like that was a really cool moment. And I shared that in my thank you note to her as well. So moments, you guys, that's what these events are for. And that's what you're going to take away are the moments. So thank you guys for, for really grasping onto that as well. It was really impactful for me. So love representing you. Awesome. Thank you, Cece. All right. Can we, Dory, can you share a quick little nugget or um, comment on career conference? I have, I have uh, three quick little nuggets. Um, we have had the opportunity to be in person and it was, uh, it reignited our excitement and our realization of how important it is to be in front of people, even when it's just your friends. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, And you have, uh, if you have at least one team member on your team, you are less likely to leave your business. So get one within the first 30 days and then you have yourself a guarantee that you're going to keep working as well. And Heidi, Heidi Gelzer said double and we say max it out. out. (laughs) Double credit, max it out. Yes. Yep. Double credit, max it out. I'm working on that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Dory. Maggie, what can you share with us? Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so I love Career Conference. It's one of my favorite events. And um, I really enjoyed Catherine Longley. So Catherine Longley spoke in our first day uh, bonus red classes, and she's fantastic. And one of the things she said is, um, all things are difficult until they're easy. Ha! Okay, so keep working till they get easy. I love that. Okay, then she also said, um, that 98% of the world lives in their comfort zone. The other 2% live not in their comfort zone. Um, Be part of the 2%. She also said, if you aren't dealing with some sort of conflict every three days, you aren't doing enough. So if you aren't growing every three days, you're not doing enough. And then I love Heidi Gelzer. She's one of my favorites. And so this really stuck with me. She said, 
I think it was after a commercial. Like, I don't even think it was part of her speech. She said, when was the last time you astounded yourself? Why not go out and astound yourself? Do something wild. Oh, I love that. So that's what I had. Okay. <laughs> Good, Maggie. Thank you. Sandy, what can you share with us? Flashy, blinky hat lady. <laughs> you're muted. And you're muted. Okay. I wasn't very good at writing down who was talking because I was just kept writing sound. Um, but uh, Joan Merton with the the three and a half inch stick thing. Yep. She, I yep. liked, I liked. She said, "The person you are becoming must be louder than the person you have been." Lame. My finger is on that to share next, Sandy. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. You cut out. Say it again. The, the person you are becoming must be louder than the person you have been. So that was one of them. The other one was um, treat your family the way you treat your best customer. Mm. I like the part, I think Jeff Dallin said it, uh, when, you're plant, when you're planting, you're, when you're giving people um, your samples and stuff and you're talking to them, you're planting a seed. And then you're, it's gonna grow. It's not maybe gonna grow right now, but it may grow for the future. So I did like that one too. I mean, there were so many. I got like 25 pages of stuff and there's so much. There, there was another one where um, when you're talking to somebody, you want to lift them up and pretend God is standing behind them when you talk to them. I like that one too. That one was a, hmm. So those are my three so far, but I got like a lot of them, but that's that, those are the main ones. Awesome. Thank you. And I'm going to wrap up this section of um, tonight's meeting. And there was a lot of a lot of cool things that happened throughout all of our sessions. And it was cool being that I've, I've been to a few of these, obviously some with pink eyes, some without. <laughs> and I took it all in, right? Um, those who know, no, I'll leave it at that. So number one, um, elevate your thinking. It just if you're comfortable, you're not growing. And I think that's something that all directors have told us. I mean, Lisa has probably told that to us 80,000 times, but just being reminded that like, stop being comfortable, just move a little bit. So that was awesome. Overthinking will kill you. Also <laughs> get the emotion out of it. And it's, it, it's a weird concept. Some may think because this is a, a business that we're very passionate about, but in terms of maybe you signing um, a beauty agreement with a new team member and it's not right for them and they leave, just move on. And the, like the reason like does not need to be so emotionally driven. If you look at it, look at it as a business, <clears throat> you will be able to scale yourself quicker, faster. And um, she did the example of women versus men and how when she recruited, I forget this lady's name, it was in my papers here, but when she was finishing up her directorship, she needed to get, um, or DIQ, I'm sorry, DIQ, she needed to get a handful of people, and she's like, you know what, I was, I had no time for the emotions of a woman, she called her girlfriends and their husbands, they sat down, she said the facts, and all of the men were like, duh, do it. So it's just, it's amazing when you really step back and us women have a crazy, crazy thing between our ears. And we just need to make sure that we rein that in to still be a polite woman and womanly, but confident and strong and also strategic at the same time. Awesome. So with that being said, I'm going to pass the ball over to Sandy Stickland and she is going to talk about um, just the fact that we were in person again. She's gonna give her input and then call on a few others. In-person events rack. Okay. Um, uh, we had, what did the what is the best? Um, why in-person events are the best? So that's my topic. So I'm gonna say what I had to say, and I'm gonna pick two more people. So my take, what I liked about everything, um, I like the encouragement. Um, I had people at work today ask me, you know, how did it go? How did it go? I said, first of all, my face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> there was absolutely no negativity. Everybody's smiling, you know, and they're like, oh, that sounds horrible. And they're, they're laughing the whole time. I said, yeah, it was, it was great. Um, team spirit, you're on the same team. 
You're all, you know, you're all, and then that's the thing too. Nobody was guarding their secrets. Everybody was telling how they got to where they needed to go, how anybody can do it. And um, the team spirit, every, just everybody working together for the same thing. It doesn't matter where they work. Most businesses, it's job security. You know, I have this, this is how I got to this position, but I'm not telling you how I got there. So I like that part. That was one of my, my things that I loved um, from the, just the energy that was coming off of everybody, you know, in one big room. That, and I felt like I was like in a movie because I've never been to one before and I seen it on screen and now I get to see one uh, in person. I took a picture of the screen and sent it to Joel. I said, it's real, it's real. He's like, I don't get it. I said, I'll, I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was very, very exciting. Um, so that was my, my take from it. I'm going to ask April to give, um, her, uh, what she took out of, um, going to the in-person event. Oh, one of the big things for me was just how real everybody was. Uh, like you said, it, no one guarded their secrets. They were upfront and just so real with it. And it, you know, gives me hope to know that I can achieve that also despite all of my past and I could be one of them because I have the passion for it have to drive for it and yeah it just it gave me so much enthusiasm to just grow and keep growing so I loved it it was, it was so great awesome. thank you <laughs> um how about Steph G I had no idea what to expect for our first in-person, like big Mary Kay event, because all I had since we started was virtual. So to be in that space around everybody, it was mind blowing and just like, I can't wait now for seminar. Like, cause now that'll be my other big first person in event too, but not here going to Dallas. So I am just excited just to feel that energy. Cause I brought that back to work this morning and they're asking me how, how was it? You know, how was it? And I, was telling them I'm like it was so much fun you know just meet all these different people these high you know directors and all that they're they're like oh my gosh you had a great time contagious yep. contagious enthusiasm mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely um I don't know Brittany do you want to go to the next thing or should I pick one more person let's we have time for one more person okay how about Jenny Jenny I just love seeing everyone that we haven't seen in a while in person, being able to give them a hug again and just, you know, reconnecting with people. Rooming with Kirsten was awesome. I mean, we just, <laughs> the bonds we form, I, there's nothing like it. And you can only form that bond when you're in person. I mean, yeah, virtual is okay, but so much more fun in person. And wasn't it interesting how, emotional all of the presenters were about being back in person. I mean, Deborah Bailey was bawling and was looking at the staff and said, make sure we are live again. And she's like, I'm just gonna text Nathan more tomorrow. Cause it's true. I mean, when we are such a people driven, touchy feely business, really we are to then have that sucked away from you. You really understand. You don't know when, when you don't have it, right? You don't know when it's not there. So yeah. great point, Jenny. Awesome. All right, everybody feel good. So everybody, I need you to do an inhale, exhale. Okay, I need you to stretch. We're gonna do some stretching now. I need you to pull your arm over. We're gonna pull your other arm over. Okay, maybe do a little wiggle wiggle. Okay, <laughs> so now it's time for a little game. I wonder what type of game. So I'm gonna share my screen. And you guys might just understand what's up our sleeve. So right now, I would like everybody to get a text message ready in your phone to myself. If you have my phone number, great. Just start a text message. Don't send me anything quite yet. If you don't have my phone number, my phone number is on the screen. 414-659-1149. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> All righty. Get those 
text messages ready, everybody. Oh, we can't hear it. Can't hear it. No. Okay. So we're <laughs> playing basketball, everybody. We're playing basketball. <laughs> We've got our very own Mary Kay Madness tonight, and we're calling this the Red Takeover Elimination. Oh my gosh. So, for those of you who are not familiar with the sport, March Madness is upon us, the NCAA tournament for men's and women's college <laughs> basketball. Go, go at each other to see who is going to be the ultimate March Madness champion. So in Mary Kay fashion, we have myself, Maggie, Sandy, and Dory, who are all region representatives this evening, so we can tell you who our champion product is. All right, so I'm up first, okay? So for bracket play, I have oil-free eye makeup remover going against soothing eye gel. All right, let's talk about it, y'all. Eye makeup remover, it performs without fail beginning of the game end of the game locker room before after nobody wants to go to bed with their eye makeup remover on right or their eye makeup on right we know the nasties that happen when you don't don't take your eyes off so all the always this is actually a first seed to be honest with you and then we've got the soothing eye gel it's a sleeper i'm not gonna lie it's a sleeper it's in the catalog for those who know this product they love this product for those that don't know this product, too bad for them. They need this product. <laughs> so here is it's an awesome gel soothing eye cream that you put on under your bags. So maybe after you play some basketball, your eyes are a little puffy. You want to feel rejuvenated. So all in all, both products, fantastic. They come out of the locker room without fail every day. For me, morning and night. So. I will have to say performance wise though, if I were to pick the oil-free eye makeup remover is advancing to the next round. Next up, my next match in prime time is the charcoal mask versus the pink clay mask. So everyone knows charcoal mask, right? This is just the, the ultimate, ultimate mask. A lot of those people during games, you know, when they have the lines under their eyes, it's not eye black, it's actual charcoal mask. <laughs> this pulls out three times its weight and impurities. And this is fantastic for pulling out oil and blackheads and any, any nasties going on in your face. Then we've got the pink clay mask. This is new to the game, right? This one is not, um, hasn't been in the catalog for long and is limited edition. So some of you on the phone might not even have access to it anymore. This is fantastic for bringing life back to maybe dull skin and um, giving it that extra boost. Both smell fantastic, but to be honest with you, in those final minutes, charcoal mask really pushes through. So for my region, we now have oil-free eye makeup remover against charcoal mask. Again, for those of you who don't know my Mary Kay story, oil-free eye makeup remover is the first product I ever used and is the reason why I started um, using Mary Kay and becoming a consultant. And then the charcoal mask is something that I believe every single one of my customers is using because I don't allow them to buy skincare and not buy this. <laughs> so with that being said, I mean, performance all the way around for both, but I'm going to advance the oil-free eye makeup remover as my region champion. <laughs> Next up, we've got Maggie that's going to go over her region. Are you ready, Maggie? I'm sure ready. All right. So I'm really excited because we got the naturally moisturizing stick. You guys, this is like, this is a fan favorite. Okay. You could use this everywhere. Your elbows, your feet, you throw it in your purse for like your lips. Okay. This is my favorite lip balm. I have like eight of them. I've got one in my desk, one in my purse, one everywhere. Okay. This is like an absolute must have. Okay. Must have. It is going up against this Lash Love Fanorama. Okay, again, such a good, good, good product. I'm loving it. The brush is fantastic. The formula is fantastic. It's buildable. It makes your lashes long and luxurious. You're going to be fanning your fans. It's fantastic. All right, so of these two, I have 
naturally moisturizing stick going next. Okay, so the next two products we have in a head-to-head -head competition is the TimeWise Cleansing Bar. It's fantastic, you guys. Put it in the shower. You can deliver anti-aging to your entire body. Okay, this is awesome. I love this product. Use it all over. Cece did a demo just recently about how you can make your brows look fantastic with it. Use it. Comes in this cute case. Okay, what more could you want? set up against whoops ha the silky setting powder brand new fantastic you guys this makes your face have a filter without a camera filter in real life it's fantastic oh my gosh it covers everything gives you a matte finish works all day this is a tough tough worker especially inside so up against these two i've got silky setting powder taken for the win okay so then two dynamites right right? Naturally moisturizing stick, also part of the Naturally line, also Cosmo certified. Fantastic. Versus the silky setting powder. Oh, ladies, I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. It's kind of tight. It's going to be a close one, but ultimately I really think the naturally moisturizing stick is going to win. So I have them going on to the final four. Back at you, Britt. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Maggie, for that region rep region rep so next up we've got sandy sandy is coming in hot and she is here to represent her four products that she has in this march May mary k madness tournament sandy take it away thank you Brittany. Uh, okay so i'm not as versed at all this as everybody else is because i'm a new hitter in town so i think i'm going to start off with my number one pick which is the mary k hand hand sanitizer I believe it offers a double threat of skin softening and sanitizing. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere, and I've searched every state. Secondly, I'm going to go with um, Fancy Nancy Lip Gloss, Unlimited Lip Gloss. Talk about not gritty or chalky. Fancy Nancy Unlimited Lip Gloss has access to the team I have never seen. 14 shades under its belt and every skin tone, three finishes, cream, pearl, and shimmer, dermatology tested, vitamin C and E, and this is the product to keep your eyes on. I think with the two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to advance the sanitizer. Um, next, I'm going with my hydrogel patches and my Illumina uh, perfume. And uh, Illumina is, uh, this is a powerhouse recruit right here. And the scent is long lasting. It will take your goals all the way. The, this is a tough act to follow. <laughs> Mandarin, quince, pink pepper, and morning dew. Um, red apricot. Who would want that, right? Uh, next one, my favorite one, hydrogel patches. This is the big gun right here. Um, for my ultimate top pick, Mary Kay, hydrogel, hydrate, cool, soothe, and deep cough patches. Good housekeeping seal of approval. Suitable for sensitive eyes and for those that wear contacts. Um, dermatology, ophthalmology tested twice a week application, 20 minutes, $1.33 a set is cheaper than the worst basketball game right there. So <laughs> I think I'm going to advance the hydrogel patches and go um, between the two. Hydrogels are going to win. They're my keeper. Gel, moving to the final four. Thank you, Sandy, for those killer facts in your region. Now, wrap up, <laughs> wrapping it up, we have the Queen Dory representing our next region, starting off with her first pick. Take it away, Dory. Hi. Okay, so my big thing for the start out is the clinical solutions and with retinol 0 0.05, 0 0.5. I can do this. And um, in the, the results are instant. We, they're not instant. You see them within a week of, of use that it has made a difference in your, your complexion. Your spots are fading. Your skin is tightening. Things are moving around like they're supposed to. The next item is my advanced lifting serum, which is my, my go-to for just about any time of uh, day or evening application of moisturizer because you need to make sure that you're lifting your 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 uh, little bit of saggies that happen with the aging thing. So this is anti-aging and it lifts and um, makes makes you much smoother. Okay, next item. Um, out of these, 
what what did I pick? Do we know? <laughs> Clinical <laughs> solutions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because um, it's very important to make sure that you have those spots reduced because that makes you um, your your complexion more true to what it really, really is, not not to what um, the spots are doing for you or to you. The next item is the Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. Oh, this is such a lovely little item. You 10 minutes out of your day, you just sit down and you just put on your chemical peel and sometimes people back away and go, chemical, hmm, that's a little dangerous, but it isn't. And if you keep it to your 10 minutes and then rinse and, and uh, dry, you will feel wonderful. And after you do your facial peel, you do your time-wise re repair lifting biocellulose mask. And that is right here. We have one of those. Okay, there it is. Um, that is my, my all-time go-to um, favorite relaxation because you can take 30 minutes and just kick back, put a cucumber on your eyeball if you think you have to, but um, actually the little flaps that come with the mask take care of any any requirement from a cucumber. Mm -hmm. So out of those two, my face, um, my, my face says cellulose mask. Now we're going to clinical solutions and biocellulose. Oh boy, this is a toughie because do I want to get rid of the spots or do I want to get rid of the wrinkles? Let's go with the wrinkles. It's in for the mask. Woo -hoo! <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you, Dory. <laughs> Advancing the time wise repair, lifting biocellulose mask to the final four. So here we are. We've got B Rad with oil free eye makeup remover and Maggie with the naturally moisturizing stick. So Maggie, why do you feel that your product should be advanced to the championship round? Oh, well, I say mine should be advanced because everyone can use it. It is good for all types of skin and it is has been clinically shown to be suitable for sensitive skin as well, Brittany. Oh. So you seem to tell me that apparently mine isn't good for sensitive skin because I think you're wrong, lady. <laughs> mine is good for sensitive skin as well. Actually, it's so gentle. You could shoot this in your eye and your eye wouldn't even <laughs> feel bad at all. It's, <laughs> it's easy and safe for those that are wearing contacts. And quite frankly, if anyone Google imaged dust mites on your eyelashes, I'm pretty sure this would be the winner, Megs. Ooh, I don't know, Brittany. I mean, it is good, but uh, I don't know. There, it's going to be a tough matchup. All right. Well, I think in terms of versatility, we will possibly go with naturally moisturizing. Okay. <laughs> but let's hear first from Sandy, who is bringing the hydrogel eye patches versus Dory, who has the time-wise repair lifting biocellulose mask. Why don't you plead your case, Sandy? Well, I think the hydrogels, I mean, they're, they're water suspended in a gel matrix right there. That's, that should explain everything right there. Um, <laughs> they flood the eye area with hydrating benefits. The patches use the moisturizing power of glycerin to help instant revive the skin. It has uh, Parents Magazine Beauty Award 2020, Good Housekeeping Magazine Best Beauty Award 2021, Good Housekeeping the Good Housekeeping Seal and the Health and Beauty Magazine for 2020. I mean, there's four things right there. Just standing behind these little beauties. Man, I bet I do think the ESPN guys were talking about that late last night. So my goodness, <laughs> great report, Sandy. So now, Dory, what are you going to say about that? Well, how do you think the lifting bio biocellulose mask would compete against those hydrogel eye patches? Well, I think what it'll do is it can enhance whatever the eye patches will do. And lifting biocellulose mask is not just for the over 40 crowd. Anyone can use it. And I think that's important to know because we all need a little relaxation. We need some kickback time. We need to understand that these the products in our mask are, are really, really good for any age group. But when you get past 40, you have a greater appreciation for the lifting part of this product. 
Man, well, isn't that a good argument? We'll have to see how that matchup goes. But during that commentary, the game actually finished between the oil-free eye makeup remover and naturally moisturizing. And it looks like the moisturizing, moisturizing stick advanced to the championship round. And wait, this Justin hydrogel eye patches also <laughs> advanced to the championship round. <laughs> Oh, here we are, everybody. We've got the two final products. And let's see who our championship winner will be for the Courage Nation Mary Kay Madness Tournament 2022. Please text me who you think should win between Naturally Moisturizing Stick and Hydrogel Eye Patches. <laughs> All right. So wait, while... Wait, I think while I'm just going to throw it out there really fast. Can I just throw something out there very fast against the, the Naturally <laughs> Stick? <laughs> okay. I'm going to say, if you use these hydrogel patches, this is going to give you more time in the locker room and less time in front of the mirror. Just saying. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. But the moist, the naturally moisturizing stick is a hundred percent natural origin. So it's made with natural ingredients and it's fantastic. Okay. I'm done. Y'all vote. And here's the deal. We now have to hear from our coaches. So we are going to hear from our coaches. Text Brittany while they are chatting, and we will come back with the results after we've had this update from our coaches, Cece and Lisa. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh. Cece, you go, right? Up. Sure, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, you guys are so much fun. Holy cow, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh okay. I love our people. I love our people. And you know, if you got to go without your senior sales director, you better go with Courage Nation because you guys took care of me and made me feel <laughs> like less of a crazy person. And just so exciting being back in person. You guys know I lose my marbles a little bit when I'm at events. I see people, I run, I'm gone, and I squirrel. And you guys let me squirrel, and you squirrel me back in, and I love it. So thank you so much for taking such good care of me, you guys. Um, and I love the variety and the, um, oh my gosh, just the, the variety of women that we get to represent us. And we had women in every single class. We had how many women you guys up there for senior consultant parade? Are you kidding me? Like four, five, six of you? Oh my gosh, that was the coolest flipping thing ever. So I'm just so grateful that you guys got to experience this. And we had a lot of newbies and or new again. Um, and so it was just really, really cool to be able to see this through your guys' eyes. Um, and I, I want to be aware of our, of our um, time limit, but I do want to just leave you with a couple of thoughts from what I've heard from you guys and what you guys have shared and also what I've learned as well. So overall, you guys, I felt that the the theme of career conference obviously was we were so grateful to be back in person but i really felt the theme of of everything that i heard was really based around solutions and excuses or maybe the other way around mm -hmm. so one thing that i think um jill matthew said was get obsessed with solutions everyone can find a problem if you she said if you sit down and stare at the news for three minutes you'll find many problems but not as many people are as obsessed with finding solutions so find solutions Clinical, if you want, find clinical solutions, <laughs> but find solutions to your business, to your next challenge, find the solution rather than the problem and cancel your backup plan. You guys, I finished DIQ when I canceled my backup plan. There was 12 days left in the month. We were at fall retreat and there was no other option. We were doing this. So cancel your backup plans and get the thing done. It's not that big of a deal. It's just skincare. Go out and sell some. Okay. <laughs> Are you passionate about your business or are you just interested Ugh. you can be passionate at all levels right you can be passionate at any level how cool is that you can be interested in playing golf on the weekends are you passionate are you on the team are you playing golf on the team great or are you interested okay and it's not too late you guys it's really not too late I think we, we sometimes get really excited about March and it's, you know, it's, oh my gosh, it's almost over. Yeah, first of all, there's still tonight and there's still three more powerful days left. Crazier things have been done in less amount of time, okay? Um, but it's not too late. April, May, and June, there's still three powerful months left. We can get a lot done in three days. Imagine we can do a three months. It's not too late, okay? Um, like Tandy Fisher, oh my gosh, top sales director, turn your mess into your message and your test into your testimony. Her, her unit is the testimony 
something like that, right? It had a really cool name. And it's about that testimony because we can take the tests and turn them into something. And that is what Mary Kay is all about. Because you guys, what I was going to next, you guys, is you all saw, first of all, many of you saw yourselves in Grace Lumpke, which I'm forever grateful for. And I have shared some of those words with her individually already, but you saw yourself in her. And that is what in-person events are all about. And that is the only place that you can get them. What's really cool, you guys, and what I don't want you to underestimate is that someone on our team or someone in your life or someone in another unit sees themselves in you, sees themselves in you, and they're waiting for you to do the next thing. So maybe you need to stop looking for proof in someone else that it's working and just do it because maybe you are the proof for someone else. Can I get an amen? Mm, yes, you okay. can. Where's my mic? This is hopeful baby. lilac lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Ace. Yeah. Great. Hey, Head um, coach. Yeah, thanks, coach. We need to scoot it on over to the other coach. Do you have anything to add, Coach Lisa? Holy <laughs> moly. You guys, I have all the notes from all of you. You guys, this this is stellar, stellar, stellar. I am impressed as all get out. Uh, just want you to know I am doing incredibly well in my bracket. By the way, there are six ways that this could end, and I will be in the top three, no matter how it ends in the um, legal. I'm sure it's a legal bracket that I'm in. Um, I still have two of my top four. I love the upset. I love the upset. I love the upset. Um, I also was on vacation with um, Mr. Wisconsin, Mr. Gatorade, Wisconsin, Seth Trimble, um, senior in high school, number one athlete to come out of the state of Wisconsin, headed, headed to North Carolina Tar Heels. Uh, so that's great. And that's another super reference. Great kid. Um, I love that you guys are talking about my friends because I can't wait to tell my friends how you were talking about my friends. And I'm in a group chat with many of them. And I'm going to light them up with all the stuff that you guys were saying about them. Max out double credit. This is your final four. You have four more days today through Thursday to max it out, max it out, max it out, max it out. Buy some stuff, get some stuff, sell some stuff. People want to see you in person. It's obvious. Don't put yourself in a box or let someone else do it. I'm thinking of as all you guys are talking and the growth that I have seen in you guys in the last 24 years to four months or five months or whatever the amount of people we have here. Um, don't put yourself in a box and don't let someone else do it because someone said, one of you said, um, give yourself permission to win. Jill Kubit, you said that. Give yourself permission to win. Don't put yourself in a box or a box that you think someone thinks you should be in. Well, I've always been like this. Well, I've never done that. Just because you haven't doesn't mean you can't. Just because you always have doesn't mean you can't now all the things. Lastly, um, okay, so good, I love analogies. Okay, so you're thinking about the last quarter, literally, we're in the last quarter, we're also in the last four days, right? So you got four more powerful days to max it out, and you're in the last quarter. So this is an idea of how I want you to race for your goals. So yesterday, we were at the airport, and a whole bus of us Eight o'clock in the morning, we're kind of tired. It's kind of late out, right? Eight o'clock in the morning, there's like 30, 40 of us headed to the airport and we get off at a terminal in Mexico, small terminals, okay. And we get out with all of our stuff and all the things, eight of us walking in, go up to um, like a security kind of a guy and ask him where the frontier check-in is. And, oh no, you're in the wrong terminal. What, what, wrong terminal? That's not good. Okay, go out. Okay, we all go out and we're standing there like, what do we do? How do we get to the next terminal? This is Mexico. You And also it's not Milwaukee. You cannot just take your little butt over. There is no <laughs> thing. Oh, it's a 30 minute walk. No, no, not doing that. <laughs> My husband sees the bus we rode in on and is suddenly gone sprinting across the parking lot to get the bus that just dropped us off to catch it. You guys? It's, there's jungles, there's bushes, there's cars, people everywhere. He grabs the wrong bus. The bus pulls away, he's gone. We don't know. We're like, where is he? Is he, did someone just steal him out of the bushes? Where on earth is he? He ran to another bus. 
we finally see him. He's like 50, 60 yards away. I don't even know. He gets somebody who calls somebody who they come. They Oh, they're like, oh, we're so sorry. Whisk us away. They whisk us away. <laughs> we get to the next terminal. There's a lot of last minute plays there. Buzzer beaters getting us to the gate on time. It all turns out. Go for your goals like you're trying to get a freaking plane back from Mexico <laughs> and you are relying on Terry Mac to get you there and not leave you in Mexico. <laughs> Wonder if you're going to catch your plane. Oh my gosh. You guys. Oh, I. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. oh, we're seeing are, it. Are we ready? We're seeing it. Yes. And the champion is the buzzer beater. Hi, Jojo Eye Patches. Woo! What is, does Sandy get something for that? Woohoo! Thank you all. One by a landslide. Sorry, Maggie Fortman. Sorry, Thank sorry, you. sorry. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Sandy gets bragging rights. It's all good. <laughs> Lisa, I, anything well, else to add? Me, I don't think so. I, I, but I got a bunch of topics now for the next several weeks on everything you guys said. I am just so dang proud of all of you. I love seeing the pictures. I'm still trying to catch up on everything. I literally had no phone service again. Um, intentionally, maybe, Hey, maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. So I can't check in actually. Um, so thank you guys for your excellence. Thank you for representing Courage Nation so well. Um, right there, keep working on, is, it, is that where she is? The next Cadillac unit coming out of the Courage Nation. Right there, you guys are such an incredible group of women. Everybody knows who you are. Um, Courage Nation, you guys, we've got work to do and I'm excited to do it. I hope you are too. Like Dawn said, when you... Um, work for something you hate, um, working hard for something you hate, whatever she said. Stress. 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 Yeah. I didn't finish the sentence. Working from something you love is passion. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. And each and every one of you matters. And I hope you, you have made, I hope you've seen tonight that that is abundantly clear. Thanks, Lisa. All right. So we are going to wrap up this, uh, I don't know what is it called after game recap. I don't know. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So post game recap. I would really like to uh, just acknowledge my Reds uh, that helped, my fellow Reds that helped with tonight. You guys, I love you. This planning process was so fun and easy. Oh, it was easy. So let's give it up for Brittany Bartz <laughs> and Sandy Stickland. Woo! And Dory Anderson. Woo! And, and I am Fortman. I'm the fam 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 bleh, fabulous Maggie Fortman. Please check Courage Nation. Keep in touch um, to make sure that you know what is happening with all the dates coming up in April. We've got a lot of really awesome things coming up, um, including some photo things. I think you'll hear more about that. And um, we hope that you have a great final four days left of March and we hope you had fun tonight. We love you all. Have a fantastic evening. Yeah! Bye, Thank you Reds. Thank you Reds. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs> <laughs>